For more than 20 years, CTV has captured the moments that matter in our community. From our studios in St. Clair, you're watching Focus with Paul Dingaman. Good afternoon again, Paul Dingaman here along with uh, some guests uh, talking about things that are happening in Marine City and St. Clair. We are glad you are along. Focus appears in Marine City, St. Clair each Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. And we've got some interesting uh, Halloween news for you today. <laughs> Joining us from the First Congregational Church in beautiful St. Clair is Elena, no. Alana. Al Alana. Yeah. Good, unique <laughs> name. Kelly is an easy one. The pastor at First Congregational Church. And you brought Thank along you. the uh, church organist. Denise Gregg, Denise, Whoops. nice to meet you or what see you. What a pleasure you. to be and with I you. And I love your hat. Well, love, thank you very much. Um, you've got a wonderful church. It's got some great history. Yeah. It's uh, right on the on the uh, sort of on the river because it's on Third Street or Second Street. Third Street. Third Street. Correct. And yeah. uh, as you're out on a on a boat, it's got a it's a real landmark. That's right. It's got a uh, clock tower that's been there since uh, the late 1800s. No, and, wonderful. Yep. So the boats use it. The ships. I'm sorry, <laughs> going by. How long have you been the pastor? I've been the pastor there for a year and about ten months now. Okay. And you came from? I came from the Cleveland area. Oh, from really? A little town called Deliria. Right. Where, uh, I was pastor in three churches. Uh, before I came here, they actually consolidated into one church. That's the that's the word of the day is consolidation. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, happening in all faiths and all uh, parts of the country. It sure is. Yeah. Uh, what is new, exciting that's happening at First Congregational that we should know about? Oh my goodness, we've been so busy. Uh, we just finished our month at the Ecumenical Food Pantry and um, had 22 volunteers from the church working during the month. Um, gave out 996 pounds of food. Isn't that marvelous? It's amazing. I mean, it's sad, but yeah, it's marvelous. Right. Um, and the church has also gotten really involved with Harbor Impact, which is in Port Huron. Okay, I'm not familiar um, with that one. Well, it's located at uh, a, an old school, and um, they give away, they have a big giveaway on the last Tuesday of every month. And so members of our church and lots of other volunteers go there and help them to get ready for that big giveaway day, which is called Impact Day. What do they give away? They give away food, they give away clothing, they give away household items. Really? Um, it's amazing. And they have generally three, 350 to 400 families who come through. Wow. And so they keep us very busy. Yes. We've become partners with them, and that's uh, something that wonderful we've, outreach. we've really been involved with and have been enjoying. So, Good. Yeah. Um, there was another lady that was going to be with us today, Kathy Rood. Yes. But she's teaching a Mahjong class. What's that she's all about? She's teaching a Mahjong class at the church, and um, she is a Mahjong expert herself. So uh, she really enjoys teaching, and uh, people have been coming. It's a raucous group down there in the basement <laughs> at the church. <laughs> I know they're having fun. So uh, someday I hope I can learn, too. Yeah, I'm not familiar with the game at all, but... Uh, <laughs> And yeah. Denise, uh, you've been the organist at uh, First Congregational for how long? I've been the organist at First Congregational since July of 1990. Okay, you're just breaking in the organ. I'm just breaking <laughs> in the organ, yes. And uh, talk to me about the organ in the beautiful building that you have. Well, actually, it's no longer a pipe organ. Okay. It's an electronic Allen organ. Okay. And I ha still have many stops that I can pull out and many different sounds to use in many different tones, and I will be using all of those on the evening of October 31st. You started something a few years ago, and I asked at the beginning, I forgot to, uh, already how many years you've been doing pipe screens? Yes, I jogged my memory and I also spoke with Alana about it, Pastor Alana, and we believe nine or ten years. It actually started with an interim pastor that was with us for 27 months. His name was Reverend Reginald Lancaster, okay. and he was out of a church in Flint. He suggested to counsel and to the trustees that we do something called pipe screams where the organist plays scary music. And when I heard that, I thought, ooh, I don't know if I can do that or not. And we invite the community in. We have a few refreshments. We have candy or chips for the children. And we offer a safe place as far as being out of the elements yeah, or just right. warming up on Halloween. Right. And it's just stuck with us every Some years it's snowing. Some years it's say 60 degrees, that's, 80 degrees. So that's correct. Right. Well, what kinds of selections? 
stuff you hear from the movies? I do scary stuff that we hear from the music. I do Frankenstein. I do Monster Mash. I try to mix in some really scary things and some not so scary things. I try to do some classical things and just a variety of selections. Frankenstein. Um, it's a wonderful idea. It's, it's very fun. Uh, and my fingers don't get tired, if you can believe that. <laughs> I had the opportunity one time to, to be in Key West. Oh. They've got a beautiful Methodist church there on one of, the, one of the corners of the main street. And every noon, they have a concert from the organist. Mm. And the organist, they have this huge, you know, pipe organ. And he does very classical kinds of things and big heavy music. And then he's got a grand piano right at the, at the, at the, down at the base of the altar. And he plays jazz. So wow. he plays, Wonderful. but it's every day at noon, and I thought every day at noon, you, you've got <laughs> you've got such a wonderful instrument there, yeah. and a great acoustics. It's wonderful when you get to use it. Besides, <laughs> besides church. Right. Yes. Yes. This is really a fun thing. It is a fun thing, and we decorate the church so the sanctuary oh, really? is all dark, and the inside of the church is decorated. So the food table in the lounge is beautiful with all kinds of goodies for Ooh. anybody who comes through. Cookies, so cookies and stuff. We Ooh. love it. Yeah. Well, donuts, donut holes, <laughs> donut holes, okay. cider. Can the public help you put this on, or you're you just pretty well taken care of? The committee, there's really no committee. It's just you. Well, actually, it's a church committee, and then we invite everyone. Yeah to join us from 5 to 8 o'clock. Okay. And that's Tuesday the 31st, the night of Halloween, and I believe the city's hours are 5 to 8 for yes. trick-or-treating. But Correct. Uh, so when you're going around trick-or-treating, bring the kids and ca catch a couple numbers. Yes, okay. definitely. Yes, and I'll be, I'll be on the porch dressed as Chewbacca. <laughs> oh, my God. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Directing people in. Yes, helping people come in. Uh, what does the uh, Christmas season look like at the church? Oh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful time of year. We decorate um, the, the Friday before uh, the first Advent Sunday, and that this year is the first Sunday in December. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll decorate that Friday. Um, there's a beautiful Christmas tree in the corner that's lit. Um, we just have a wonderful time. There's a children's pageant mm. in the church on December 10th, uh, Sunday. And um, any kids in the community who wanted to be involved with that could be. Okay. Uh, we would certainly welcome them. And, um, and that's always a really nice thing. Mm -hmm. And Carol Levine uh, is the person who puts that on. She helps the church in that way, along with Penny Malcolm. And um, it's really lovely. Christmas Eve, we're um, trying to figure out what time we're going to have our worship service. It's been at 7, and we are considering either 5, 7, or 11, so we'll let you know. People are busy. <laughs> People are busy. Uh, we've recorded many times in the church when the St. Clair community singers and different right. groups have been yeah. in there, and it's, a, it's just a wonderful building. Mm -hmm. And you said how many years is the building? How old is the building? Oh, gosh. Same as the clock the year. tower? Yes. So it's 18, been moved and changed. And yeah, 1863, maybe? Something like that. Yeah, I know. Marvelous. We should know. <laughs> yeah, we should Marvelous. know. But I don't off the top of my head. Well, we, uh, we're glad you are in town. We're glad yeah. that you're uh, doing this, the uh, pipe screams again. Um, uh, give us the time and, and, uh, and the date again. It's October 31st. But. But, mm -hmm. Right. Halloween from 5 o'clock to 8 p.m be very happy to have all of okay. you. Right. You can also bring your dogs. Yes. Bring your dogs. Bring your dogs. <laughs> You're not going to scare the dogs, eh? We'll yeah. try not to. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's, that's very nice. Very nice of you to offer that. Uh, anything else we should talk about at the church? Uh, well, let's see. We did a dog blessing, actually, on a Sunday. Uh, Wonderful. Yeah, just a couple of weeks ago, which was really fun. And that was during a regular worship service. Uh, we met down in Fellowship Hall. And um, Denise played and Anna Nadasky, who sings yep. at our church and, and uh, organizes the choir, provided music. And it was wonderful. We had uh, 11 families bring their pets. Wonderful. And brought them up to be blessed. So it was so much fun. And my dog Betty got to go to And Betty got there to, to meet all sorts <laughs> yeah. of new friends. Yes, she made lots of new friends. Uh, we also have on the campus now a little food pantry. Oh, really? And that is for anybody who has an emergency food need. Okay. Uh, somebody who needs a meal or two can stop by and just help themselves. And that's on the Adam Street side of the church. Okay. And you don't have to give your name or anything? Nope. Just, just it's there for the taking. Well, so. well that's very, that's a great idea. Yeah. Uh, there's, uh, 
I've seen some pop-up libraries happen right. around the and county. Right, it's just like that, but it's food. But it's food. Yeah. And it's you, it's readily uh, you can see it, and it's it's out in yeah, the. Yeah, you can see it. It's right okay. there. Yeah. Okay. Well, ladies, I thank you so much for stopping by. Have a wonderful thank you. October 31st. You're going to make a lot of people happy or scared, one or the other. Right? <laughs> we will. Yeah, I'm a good witch. That'll be Lots fun. Of fun. <laughs> a good witch. Thank you very much. Thank Christine. you. That's about it for this uh, edition of the Focus Program. Thanks very much for tuning in. Till next time, I'm Paul Dingaman. See you soon. Thanks for watching Focus with Paul Dingaman. Focus is produced at the CTV Community Television Studios in St. Clair. For over 20 years, CTV has captured the moments that matter to our community.